Alrighty, folks, this is the long anticipated return of Legends of Albedon. Gonna do a little skirmish here with, uh, <laughs> with double dicing. So, uh, I'm gonna do you two dice for a single room with the new event coordinator update. Uh, update 4.0 that hit Legends of Albedon. Sorry about that. A while back, this is going to mean that I have spent 500 Shadow Gold to purchase the utilization of a secondary dice. Um, gonna roll up. Oh, what was that weird green flash there? Um, so we got a total of seven points, which is not a bad roll. Um, so with that, we're gonna put out some. Yeah, well, I'm gonna use some more shadow gold. Cause this is essentially what this is: is I'm demoing a uh, mode of update 4.0. This is a showcase video to show y'all how it works. So I'm going to utilize additional shadow gold to use my seven points to purchase a fallen knight. Uh, seven hit point boss using the surprise boss item in the shop. And I'm going to roll initiative. He won initiative. He is going to lane out of the lane that has the archer. Move forward three. Um, now to introduce our characters over here, we've got Leonidas Kingbreaker, he's a Valhalier Knight. We have uh, Thordis Farshot, she is a half-elf, half-Valhalier archer uh, with the hit point modulation I usually do, but uh, she's got seven hit points. Orijin White Shield, he is my uh, Golden Elf Priest. And Aja White Shield is my human fighter. And we're gonna let them do their stuff. So first off, I'm gonna move Thordis. She's gonna move right here. Oh. It would not be a Legends of Albany video if somebody did not fall over at least once. She's gonna attack the Fallen Knight with one which hits. Um, she has a seven attack bonus, he has a seven defense bonus, so in instances where the bonuses are equal, you're going to use the natural roll, okay? So her first shot hits, reducing him to six hit points. Second shot misses utterly. Uh, Aja is going to move forward to here. Now, why didn't she move here? Because then he would be able to attack her, and she would lose her next turn if he hit. Leonidas is going to boldly go here. And now it is the Fallen Knight's turn, monster round two. He will move forward two squares. His basic strike succeeds, he hits Leonidas. Leonidas loses his next turn. He hits Leonidas again. And that's all he is able to do now. Thordis, as an archer, she can shoot past an occupied square. So she's going to shoot over Aja. Try to get the Fallen Knight again. First one fails. Second one fails. Come on, Thordis. Third one ties. Third one fails as well. I know she was just too psyched out that there was somebody in front of her that she could accidentally hit. Okay. Aja, her first strike succeeds, reducing the Fallen Knight to four. Hit points? I think it's four. Hmm. Is it four? No, it's five. Okay. And striking again. She gets a five. And she has an attack bonus of six. So that makes it a tie. Her second attack fails. And that wraps up her turn. Now, counting off one, two, three, four, five. Arijan is going to make some attacks as a priest. Ten against ten. He ties it. He has a 5 attack bonus. His first attack fails. Second attack fails. Third attack fails. <laughs> Amazing things happening in Hot Wheels world right now. Okay. Fallen Knight going after Leonidas again. He succeeds. Now going after Aja. And he hits her. And he's going after Leonidas again. So Leonidas has a total of 3 hit points left. And him and Aja both lose their next turns. 
Thordis is going to try to shoot past Sasha again. Much better. Uh, Fallen Knight is now down to five. No, four. Definitely four this time. I don't know why the screen keeps turning green. That's weird. Okay, second one is a tie. Second one is a hit, so he has three hit points down. Third one is a fail. Plain and simple. Origin is going to use one of his actions to. In one second, okay? Origin is going to use his priest's healing ability, which is at legendary, so it's got range. He's going to heal Aja one hit point, then attack twice. His first one fails. His second one fails. And that's all he can do. Fallen Knight, going after Leonidas again. He fails. Going after Aja. He succeeds. Aja loses his next turn. Going after Leonidas again. They are locked in battle with a tie. Let's re reroll. The exact same roll occurs twice. Leonidas loses his next turn as well. Thordis is up. She misses with her first shot. Misses with her second shot. It could be because the action figure got knocked aside with. Look okay, at a little superstitious, <laughs> superstitious about that. And third one fails and she accidentally knocks it over her Raijin. She's still standing in front of her Raijin. She's just working on getting up. There we go. Okay. Her Raijin also going to attack. Eight on eight. So that's going to be a reroll. First attack failed. Second attack failed, and those dice are really difficult to return. Ah, right, Aja falls over. I'll stand the knight back up. Rajan's third attack also failed. No. Fallen knight moves over one and attacks. Lionatus, they're locked in battle. His first one hits. And his second attack, his final attack, goes after Aja. Tie, it hits. And why was that his final attack? Because he could already hit both of those, he didn't get a free action for landing next to one of them. Now, the reason he did that is so Thordis has to move. He's got three hit points left, so she can't get him this round. But she can tag him. He's got two hit points now. And he has one hit point left. Let's see if Orion can uh, he moves over one as well? Uh, his first attack is a tie. His first attack fails. His second attack also fails. Ionidas is about to be vanquished. If he gets hit, he did. So the Lion of the North has fallen. Ouch! And he returns to the temple for healing. Aja, he's after Aja now. It's a tie. She blocks it. Alright, he's only got one action left. And he hits her anyway. But he forgot to move. So Thordis aims her bow. And with a 3 2 1, she shoots an arrow. And. He is defeated. Um, so, what I showed you was the two event coordinator purchases of extra dice and spontaneous boss drop. And those are just two of like a lot of different things that you can purchase with your shadow gold as an event coordinator. Now, since I just lost a skirmish, I got 200 shadow gold. And where I vanquished an adventurer, I got 100 shadow gold. So, all in all, I got 300 Shadow Gold of the 1,000 I purchased, used to purchase, so it wasn't really a, a shining fight. But still, I'm happy with it, because I had fun, and really enjoyed recording this, so I could share it with all of you. I hope that you check out the description below, because we've got uh, a link to our website there, as well as a link to the Legends of Alden Player's Handbook, and Legends of Alden event coordinator's handbook which comes with all of the monsters and items and stuff that the event coordinator can use if you purchase those you will go the uh, royalties that I get will go toward uh, making Albedon videos and more game stuff so 
purchase the book and support Legends of Albany. And also, um, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you'll get notifications whenever we put out a new awesome video. I hope you have a great time. God bless. And may your journey continue.